What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the foldable Samsung Galaxy phone and it's coming from Ice Universe and and I don't can't tell if this is either um, news that he has or it's his opinion but regardless it makes total sense as to why we're not seeing the Samsung foldable Galaxy phone in 2018 and we will see it in 2019. Samsung is correct to release a foldable phone next year. It can use a 7 nanometer processor, adopt a proprietary operating system developed by Samsung and Google and have enough time to improve the design and durability. These cannot be done in 2018. Now, I don't know if a lot of you are waiting for this foldable phone, but it's going to be a very expensive phone, at least from all the rumors that we've been hearing, possibly more than $1,500. It's also not gonna be the first on the block in terms of foldable phones. There's already some Chinese manufacturers already releasing or about to release foldable phones, but we don't want that. We want Samsung or anybody else really to put out a perfect device that's ready for the public with great software. And Samsung, if anybody can do that, and sometimes Samsung's at the for forefront of just putting a product out there maybe a little bit too early, a technology a little bit too early, and it looks like they're taking a step back on this one, making sure everything is right, and then release it to the public, which makes me extremely happy. And the last story of the day is the update we talked about, I don't know, a month ago, about people getting device updates for their phones, at least internationally, that was going to improve the camera uh, with low light performance of photos and things like that, and it seemed like it was almost never gonna come out for America, but it's definitely starting to hit carriers here in the United States. I've gotten some messages from you guys through social media. I've also been following it through the Reddit forum. So it's come to unlocked phones. It's come to, I know, Sprint phones and Verizon phones and a lot of other phones as well. So check your updates to see if you have this update. It'll improve camera performance. That's always a nice thing uh, with this because if you can get better performance with already a really nice camera, why not make it great at that point? So let me know in the comments down below if you have received this update yet. I personally have and I have the unlocked 512 gigabyte version of the Galaxy Note 9. I still do not have this update, but I know other people do. Let me know if you have it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace!